get her up there. Watch. They're fired up. Here we go. Showtime. Come on. Come on. Where are you? Oh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? So fired up. So fired up. Wow. Look at that killie. <laughs> Man, this tank is doing great. Makes me want to get these guys out and uh, give it a try for breeding. Fired up. The girl right there. I saw them spawn once already. And. I don't know how many times they go back and do it, but this would not be the first. It's an all day thing. I think I've noticed this kind of activity go on for like a day. And then the next day, they kind of just relax for a month or so or some weeks or so. And then uh, I haven't really kept track of the time frame, but, and then um, they'll do it again. And so will the Congo Tetras. So, you know, I got a breeding mob, some, some stem plants here from the bottom and some guppy grass up there. Um, I also got a dense, root base of the patos and some guppy grass that's in there you know um real real dense in here you know real packed the neons are in there you know there's like 25 neons in there you know uh everybody does pretty well together i haven't lost any fish in a while here's a bozmani this guy's fired up pretty well He's probably doing some breeding in there. And there's a female. That's a female Congo. Here's the female killifish. Well, it seems like all the females are on this side, right? That's the female uh, Swartel. Here's the girl with the boys. Yeah, go ahead with the boys over there. Better look at them, they're all fired up. They're doing good. The quarries. He's up in there breeding. Look at him. Yeah. I like three mops up in there. Um, that whole back, back up there is filled. You know, doesn't seem like much, but this this tank is on the wider side or on the longer side uh, and higher side, I guess you could say. The floating balls are just media balls that came in the canister. And I just decided to keep them in there. Kind of helps uh, the lilies. And I like the lilies because it kind of acts as a natural um, top, right? And so <clears throat> these killifish are known for jumping. And I've had one jump already. The son of those two that I raised, um, the two killies that are in here, he jumped, right? Uh, and so the lilies weren't grown in as well, 
but now they've grown in better. And I feel like uh, I've never seen them look back and uh, measure distance uh, at a hole or at a, um, a couple places. I'll show you guys. But here, you know, there's a little place you could jump out of there and then the waterway where the canister filter thing is, right? Um, you know, lilies, right? So it's like a natural top. Good cover, but... Uh, I found that I need so much light in this tank to get down there for the plants to grow well that having a top does not help. And this is just... Uh, Tomato grower light. Right. Some videos on this. Right. It's a uh, full spectrum. And I do use this sometimes, but most of the time I just leave it on natural light, bright light, daylight. It's called. You guys, look at the neons there. Doing great. Red tiger lotus. Everybody's happy. Everybody's breeding. Everybody gets their chance to breed. Even the harlequins are breeding. We don't get to see that though. I don't know how they do it. Never caught them do it. So. Well, hope you guys enjoy.